Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samir Ajawi. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the deputy chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the racing club today organized the opening race for the season 2018-2019, which was held for the late cup of Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa in Rafa Sakhir. The event was also attended by Sheikh Turki bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan Din bin Muhammad bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nader bin Muhammad bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as a crowd of horse racing enthusiasts. Sheikh Turki bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the six half cup to Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The seventh half cup was handed to the winning racer Gerald Moose, while Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Isa Al Khalifa presented the first trophy to the winning champion Alan Smith and the second half cup to Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa. The third half cup to Abdul Aziz Yusuf Tahir. The fourth half cup to the winning owner Al Afu, and the fifth half cup to His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa.
Following the 109th session of the United Nations World Tourism Organization Executive Council, the UNWTO and Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority launch an innovation tourism with the theme UNWTO Tourism Tech Adventures, Big Data Solutions and Tourism Forum. More details in this report. To maximize the benefits of the unique gathering of the tourism industry leaders here in Bahrain from all over the world, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority held a high-level executive workshop on smart tourism management and data-driven decisions entitled How Big Data Solutions Can Help Public Leaders Take Smart Decisions. Innovators or entrepreneurs will present their projects. Uh, or their, their uh, studies on what products or what new creations they have come up with to enhance the tourism landscape worldwide. Uh, some of these are apps, some of these are actual products or, or ideas. Uh, and we're, we're very excited again to have this new addition to the uh, executive meeting being launched in Bahrain for the first time. There are international speakers, uh, more than 340 people registered uh, today to attend the forum. Uh, 140 of them came from outside of Bahrain to attend the forum. So this gives a lot of exposure to Bahrain and also is an excellent platform to look at different case studies where innovation is possible. The workshop tackles a range of topics on innovation, technology and building the future of tourism. Other topics included digital transformation, measuring the return on investment in the tourism sector, business intelligence and big data roadmap in tourism. Today in uh, this excellent, amazing forum and this amazing city like Bahrain, uh, I'm going to speak about how data can help companies in the travel space to do better their strategy. Actually, the more sophisticated uh, the strategy is for travel companies, the more you need data and you need deep analysis to segment, to personalize, to understand exactly the right KPIs uh, around the visitors, the travelers. Uh, you need uh, very good uh, data treatment. It's a great platform, gathering innovators in tourism to discuss the main challenges and opportunities of the tourism sector, share experiences and build common solutions with the objective of developing this vital sector and also enhancing relations and strengthening ties with the council members to achieve the UNWTO's goals. We are signing an agreement with the United Nations to establish a center for smart tourism how to transform the process of touring from physical visiting to, to virtual visiting and also how to have the use big data in making the tourism industry more accessible, the choices better, the presentation better and the enjoyment better. The forum includes activities for startups, including a master class and a competition, panel discussions on smart tourism management and big data solutions in tourism, as well as a ministerial master class. It was also a great learning experience for tourism students participating in the event from the University of Bahrain. A student uh, in tourism, seeing all these uh, professionals uh, in tourism uh, sharing their experience, it's unbelievable. Such successful events reflect Bahrain's capability to host world-class events, affirming its stronger representation of the Middle East in the tourism world.